Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna film a plan with me for the first week of October, and I'm gonna use this fun fall kit by Fern Creek Stickers. It's like this blue and orange pumpkin themed kit. Uh, this is my compact vertical planner. I think I mentioned that already, but here is the main page of the kit. You have top bars, this extra box, your date covers, dots, checklists, scripts, and icons. And then I always order the extra boxes for planning out all the things. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with the bottom box here to fill in this extra space in the compact vertical. So I just line it up with the bar there and let her rip, okay. So let's put in these top sections. I didn't know what kit I wanted to use for this video because it's gonna be like in the 80s this week, which is crazy. It's supposed to be like 85 on Wednesday. So a little bit of an Indian summer, as you would say. So I tried to find something that wasn't like too fall because it's gonna be like a heat wave basically this week. It never gets that warm in early October here. I mean, it does, but not very often do we have 85 degrees in October. So I tried to pick something that was like a little bit lighter <laughs> instead of like your traditional fall colors. So that's what I went with here. Uh, I just went with these pretty blues, which this kit is beautiful either way. So let's put in the date dots or the date covers. So hers are cool because they're just like these long bars that you put at the top to cover up the day. And it's nice because it will cover up these strips. So if you are using a kit like this, that doesn't match the color scheme, you don't have to worry. So that's one thing I like about these kits. I just placed an order this morning for some Christmas kits from Mama Gloria shop. I am an affiliate for her, which is pretty cool. She is, she makes like hand-drawn stickers and she's a Ukrainian shop, which is pretty cool. I've used her stickers for a while. You guys have seen those on Instagram, but I ordered a bunch of Christmas kits from her, which pretty much takes up all of December actually. But I was looking through my stash this morning and I'm actually pretty low on compact vertical kits. I think I have enough to get me through most of October. And I think part of November. So it's gonna be good to have those. And then I can order a couple extras if I so choose to. All right, we have three more days here to put these down. This week is really busy. Like I have, it's really busy. Work is really busy. I have a lot of stuff going on outside of work this week. So lots of these extra boxes are gonna be used. Saturday, we are out of town for the day, which is gonna be fun. We're driving out to Syracuse, New York for a day trip. Uh, there's a convention we go to. We haven't been to it in a few years because of COVID, but my husband and I both enjoy going to it. So that is super exciting. And then Sunday will just be our chill day. Okay, so we have all of these down. Now let's put in the rest of the boxes. So what I generally do is I'll use five skinny boxes to mark working. So we'll put these in Monday through Friday. And it is currently raining outside, so I apologize that the lighting is not great. It's totally out of my control. I don't like to use artificial lights if I can help it. So those are the first five days of the week. I'm just gonna put in a box for these every day because I have meetings. Cause Saturday we're gonna be out of town. So I think I might, like literally the whole day we're not gonna be home. So I don't know, I might just put a box at the top to like label that. I'll use one of these blue ones. And then maybe I'll put some pictures here or something. I'll use this one just to like mark that we were not home. Cool. So those are the main things for the week. I guess I can write them in. Let me grab my calendar here on my Google Cal. I have a meeting.
these are all non-work related. They're all for the volunteer organization I do a bunch of work for, just to clarify. So let's put in these uh, checklists. So I like these because they're like half checklists. So I just line them up with the bottom of the day in the compact vertical. And then that still gives me space to note down anything I didn't get to. Now these don't really match for the color blocking, but that's okay because the colors work with the rest of the kit. So I'm gonna put one on every day, Monday through Friday. Not gonna bother putting one on Saturday because like I said, we're not gonna be home. And then Sunday, I should check real quick and see what time the football game is on Sunday so I can write it in my book. Let me see, October 8th. It's one o'clock, okay. So we can put this here. And I might as well put a, another one of these in here. We'll use this yellow one. Put this up at the top to mark the game. And that is the Patriots versus the Saints at 1 p.m. They won't flex games this early in the season, especially for a team that's not playing very good. <laughs> All right, so we have our plans in for the week, mostly. I should just write in here, work at the office, because I will not be home on Monday. I work at the office like, I don't know, one or two days a week, generally. So let me see, is there anything here I can use for that? You get a good amount of icons here from her in these kits. I'm just trying to see. Eh. I'll just skip it. So let's put in some other plans here. Thursday is trash day. So I'm going to grab this little... Uh oh, Hopefully that works. It kind of pulled a little bit there at the end. But we can put that right... I put it right in the date cover. It just works really well for me. Let me see the rest of these. No day off, no payday. So let's put in this box, I usually put some of the like t labels. So I'm gonna use uh, this week, maybe. I'll put don't forget. And Maybe errands? No, I'm not gonna be running too many errands. I'm busy all week. I don't know. Maybe just this week and don't forget. I don't have to like put all of three. I'll just do that for now. I'll write in Saturday what we're doing uh, real quick. Definitely needs a car because this is like a two and a half hour drive to where we're going. So that's the day trip. And it's pretty much it. So let me show you what this looks like. Oh, I love the blue. Let me zoom you guys out so you can see a little bit better. I love blue in fall kits. A lot of shops don't include blue, but I think it looks so nice with the oranges from pumpkins and leaves. Uh, this kit is just so pretty and perfect for the fall time. I only have a couple Fern Creek sticker kits left. I'm waiting to see if she comes out with anything else and that is gonna do it. So from the kit left over, what I'm gonna do real quick, cause I have some scissors right in front of me, is just trim off this top part of the page and then I'll put this in the back of the planner to use the rest of the icons and scripts. And then I've got a bunch of boxes left. I don't tend to use these ones as much. I go back and forth. Some weeks I use them more, some weeks I don't. But I have plenty of skinny boxes left if I need them to put anything else in here of note. So that will do it for this plan with me. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye. Bye.